Well, there's no doubt that we're living at a time where DSP technology is certainly fast evolving and starting to become a part of everybody's install life. However, not all DSPs have the same type of support. MSC and Audio Tech Fisher have certainly separated themselves from the pack by creating an environment and atmosphere, and more importantly, a support system for dealers that they are very proud of. And we're gonna get all the details, not only on what they're providing from a support standpoint, but also some of the latest updates in their PC Tool 5 software. We've got Chris Van Rye, their product specialist in the studio with us, and we're gonna break it all down. This is CMA Connected, presented by Sirius XM, all about Audio Tech Fisher. And it starts now. Welcome everybody to another CMA Connected brought to you by Sirius XM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. And as we talk about DSP, we've landed on a very unique product all the way from Germany. That's right, we're talking about AudioTech Fisher and their exclusive North American Canadian distributor in MSC. Now we've got Chris Van Rye in the studio. Chris, love having you on all the time. You're always so excited to share your knowledge about DSP. But this is going to be a little bit of a special show, isn't it? So why don't you give us a quick overview of what we're going to accomplish during our session? Well, Ben, today we're going to be talking here from sunny Arizona about some of the cool things that makes this product so special. DSP is a huge, huge category for us and has been for a very long time. So we wanted to touch a little bit on some of the hardware, some of the software, but more importantly, some of the support aspects that we provide to our dealers and our partners out there to make sure that they can actually put all of these cool tools to use every day and make sure that they're giving the best possible experience to their customers. Well, it seems to me that we're going to get a little bit of a treat today as far as maybe a walk around, but we're going to find out. But before that, a quick message from our partner, SiriusXM, reminding you dealers out there why you love it. And when we come back, we're about to infiltrate MSC in Arizona with Chris Van Rye. Don't you dare go away. Hey guys, Ricky Lima here from SiriusXM. I had a chance to speak to some dealers and ask them what they love about selling Sirius XM. Here's what they had to say. Coast to coast coverage. I love Sirius XM for commercial free music. It's a great ad on sale and a profit opportunity. We love selling Sirius XM because you can listen to the same channel coast to coast. Profitability and ease of installation. It's a no brainer. We love selling Sirius XM for its ease of installation, great profitability and its reliability. People love it. All right, welcome back, everybody. We've got Chris Van Rye reporting to us from their Arizona headquarters for MSC America. Now, Chris, are you taking us for a little tour? What are we doing over here? Yeah, Ben, we want to take a few minutes and talk about this training facility that we've put together. This is dedicated for one purpose, and that's making sure that our dealer partners have a place where they can come, learn, but not just by uh, absorbing information. We want to make sure that they actually get hands-on and practical applications. One of the big things that we've put together for these guys is these new simulator stations. What we've done is we've actually taken an audio system, we've used DSP technology to start to recreate what we're seeing in our own proof of concept facility. We're taking the technology that the OEMs are using and we're replicating that into these simulators. Then we're giving the guys the ability to connect to Audio Tech Fisher products, a variety of them, to allow them to get in and actually start to tackle these real world applications with these simulators. We've got laptops, we've got OEM systems, we've got new technology, we've got all the toys required to go through that they're actually going to use in the bay to make sure that they can work through this in a way that they're comfortable with and provide that practical application. From there, we've got a suite of those stations, but in this facility we also keep demonstration boards and display boards, things that would hang in their store so we can talk about uh, techniques for how to use these things, great demonstrations that are available, but even if they don't have all of the different models available, give them the opportunity to actually listen and experience what they're presenting every day and what they're installing in their own base. We've got a couple different uh, setups for those across the front here. We keep a wide range of different products as well, everything from the new Helix Compose lineup all the way through to simulators, marketing tools, uh, and accessories on that side of things, 
things like our MTK1 tuning kit. This is what gets used every single day in most shops that are tuning DSP is a microphone. We've got to hear what's going on in the car and measure it if we're going to be successful in creating an experience for that customer. We've gone through and built uh, other speakers, floor standing and bookshelf to allow us to do a handful of different demonstrations to talk about different technologies and do the listening tests that we like to create when it comes to things like measuring phase response acoustically, changing frequency response, giving people the experience of what doing different crossovers and how that impacts the sound and what's going on. So creating as much as we possibly can to help people understand the technologies that are available, but also the challenges they're going to face in the cars. Above and beyond that, simulators are all well and good, but one of the things that's really important is actually getting hands-on with the vehicles themselves. We've got two different cars that we keep in here, two very different audio systems, where these guys actually get to get in, get hands-on, and deal with handling the input signal analysis, understand what's coming from the vehicle side, and create something on the output side. Every single person that comes through one of these DSP training seminars that we do goes through both the simulator stages at the desk as well as the opportunity to tune cars in real time. All of these sessions, we've actually done 20 of these sessions this year. 120 guys have been through this program. About eight to nine hours per day for a single day for each group. It's a lot of hours invested into our dealer partners, making sure uh, they can get through what they need to in there. But in our opinion, there's no other way to do it. There's only so many things that can be done with PowerPoints and uh, one hour presentations at trade shows. That's why we've gone ahead and built this facility and created an experience for these dealers to get hands on and get crazy with it, really get what they need to out of this whole mix. Chris, I got to say, and anybody watching this is absolutely, it's an absolutely impressive setup. And I just want to clarify a few details here. So this is a training facility that dealers have access to, to book time with you, come in with their installers and go through the set training. Um, is, is this accessible for any dealer at any level what are the pre prerequisites to be able to uh, participate in said training and what is the process well in this case any msc dealer has access to this facility currently we do two trainings a week for two weeks a month every month we're actually just wrapping up our summer season here now but we'll be relaunching this program again next year but again every dealer is invited there is no prerequisites there's no understanding that's required we're here to make sure that every dealer has the opportunity to grow from absolute rookie all the way to seasoned professional. And this program is designed to give them a little taste of every step along the way and help them create the processes that they need to be successful in the Bay. All right, so I think we get a great grasp of the training area. I mean, it's awesome that you have some bays there. I see there's two vehicles, as you mentioned. I mean, I have you here, Chris. Got to show us the rest of the facility. One of the other key aspects of this facility is this is where all of our technical support for the US happens. Nick spends his time right here with this test bench that we've built that allows us to go through and actually test and verify everything that we're talking about and everything that we're doing. When we get support requests from our customers, our dealers, uh, this is where all of those things are verified, whether we're testing equipment to make sure that it does what it says it's supposed to, we're backing up and confirming uh, configuration files. We've got lots of people that send those in for verification, make sure that there's nothing funny going on with that. And this facility allows us to go through and verify every little step along the way. You know, just to circle back real quick, when you were showing us that training area, you were you walked through real quick on the wall, there were some um, sound boards. Just to clarify, are these the same type of displays that dealers have access to? Yes, Ben, all of these displays are available to all of our dealer partners. We've got a couple of different styles that we use, and every one of them is tailored to the needs of that dealer. We actually do all of that construction right here in Phoenix. We work with a cabinet maker where we've designed and engineered these boards and every single one of them is actually tailored to the drivers that are in it to make sure that the speakers are performing to their best abilities. All of these things are cut and loaded here in Phoenix. And then not only that, actually installed by the MSC team. Any of our dealer partners, when they come on and activate a new board for their program, we actually come out to not only help them install and set it up, but we also train them on how to use it and make sure that everything is absolutely perfect. Well, I think we started backwards, but it doesn't really matter because they're giving us the tour. But is there any opportunity that we can see what it's like when you come in for the first time to the MSC showroom? Absolutely. Well, the first thing that anybody sees when they're going to walk in is our sound engineer's desk. This was a program that we had put together quite a few years ago to create a different experience when it comes to playing around with the audio products that we manufacture. This desk was built to give people not only a different way to think about the products, but also a hands-on experience with it. This desk was built to create a full audio system, in this case, a three-way speaker system, DSP powered, so they can actually go through and plug into it. 
with this up on the big TV here, we've got the ability to program the software, to listen to the changes that are being made in real time, and really experience directly what all of these tools are available to do. The TV can work in a couple of different ways. One, showing that software, but in a lot of our retailers, they're also showing things like live concerts on here. Again, helping to understand that DSP technology exists in a lot of places other than just the automobile. All right. So as Chris mentioned, there's been a lot of dealers that have come through MSC uh, this last year. So we thought it would be a good opportunity to reach out to some of these dealers and get in their own words, their experience and what they thought um, this entire training um, session was like with MSC. Hi, I'm Isaac from Divine Concepts Automotive Design. Um, I've been five months in the industry. I officially tuned my first car today. Um, never thought I'd be able to do it, but I, I got it done in 45 minutes. The training was great. It was awesome, very informative, and I learned a lot. I'm Seth Conroy from Titan Motoring. This is my first MSC training. The guys down here in Phoenix did a great job. Nick, Chris, Jason, very intuitive class. Got a really good deep dive, hands-on experience. Hey, it's Cody, Cincy Security and Sound. We just finished up our MSC training. We took a deep dive into the DSP Tool 5 software. Um, it's a super awesome uh, event. We were able to actually tune cars in real time and defeat real world problems that we're seeing in our installation bays every day. Uh, we got a deep dive into the new advanced input signal analyzer. So we were able to use some hardware, identify things like all pass filters, all the factory EQ, factory time delay, along with all of the other suite of tuning tools so that we can dial cars in efficiently and and more importantly profit you know profitability as well we learned how to get these projects done get these tuning done in a timely fashion so it's not only profitable but it sounds great for our clients as well hey so i'm milton benavides from speed of sound technologies in milford connecticut i want to thank the guys over at msc larry chris nick and of course, Jason, uh, for having us out. Uh, today was packed full of features, going over the new software. Definitely learned a lot of little uh, tricks, uh, a lot of basic features that you know we really never had the opportunity to go over before. But it's definitely gonna make my life easier from now on. Uh, I'll be able to tune a lot better. Uh, I was able to solve a lot of issues I used to have uh, before this training. Uh, I, I'm sure Chris will tell you that I'd call him uh, quite often to help out and he was always willing to help. Um, but I'd happy to report that I'd probably be calling a lot less. But thanks guys for having us and uh, it was awesome. Hey, it's Spencer from Cincinnati Security and Sound. The training today was incredible. I uh, learned a lot of stuff, uh, learned how to do things in a more efficient manner than what we've been doing before. Got a big deep dive into how the product works and how it's going to be more efficient for us when it comes to tuning and getting these products out to the, view, uh, to the customer. Uh, our main goal is to make sure the customer is happy and they're not going to come back with problems. Definitely have predictable results with this software. So I'm Adam Devine from uh, Devine Concepts Automotive Design in Naples, Florida, out here for my second MSC training. Uh, this one uh, deep dived a little bit more into the DSP training. Uh, a lot of tips and tricks and a lot of things that are going to make us more efficient at the shop. I uh, love that we're going to be able to take this information back and make not only ourselves but our team more efficient and in turn quicker turn time for our customers, more cars in and out of the bay which means more money. So uh, thank you to Audio Tech Fisher, MSC, uh, Nick, Mr. Chris Van Rye, Larry, Jason, and all the rest of the MSC team. You know, we really appreciate you guys. And uh, this is uh, one great big MSC family. Wow, super humble to hear that kind of feedback from, uh, from those guys. It always means a lot to us that our dealer partners are getting the value out of the things that we're uh, able to provide for them. This program has always been about PC Tool 5, but in the last year, this advanced input signal analyzer has really scaled things up and given us a lot more things to talk about. We're gonna hand over to Nick here, who's gonna spend a little bit of time going over a couple of the key features of the advanced input signal analyzer and show you just what's possible and how quick some of these solutions can happen. Thanks, Chris. All right, so I'm gonna show you a quick run through of our advanced input signal analyzer. And what this does is we're looking at the factory signal coming out of the car into our DSP. And so basically right now we're looking at just a single channel in 
Uh, looks like a pretty good signal. And then we'll take another signal and pull that down. Again, looks like a pretty decent looking signal that we could use in a car. But what the real fun is, is when we connect them together and look at these signals. If you see that big dip right in the middle, that is a telltale sign of a all pass filter. And so what I'm gonna walk you through real quick is how to fix this. So first things we're gonna do is just flip the polarity on one of the channels, it doesn't matter which one, because what we wanna do is create a peak. And if you look at the, in the upper right side of our screen, there is a max uh, frequency. So right now it's showing about 319 Hertz. Uh, we'll let it kind of settle. So 309. And then we're gonna select a channel. Uh, we'll try it on this left channel first. So we're gonna go down here all pass filter, type in our frequency, 309, make that a second order filter, and then unflip our polarity, reset, and now our all pass filter is gone. So we just corrected all pass filter in, we'll call it 30 seconds. So now we're gonna go on to our next one and bring in another channel. Again, fairly good looking signal. We could use that, bring in another. Again, clean looking. And then when we combine them, we get that fun, lots of all pass filter looking graph, which is actually a comb filter, which is a telltale sign of uh, time delay. So if you look in the upper left side of our screen, it'll show us a estimated time delay. So we've got about 95, 0.95 milliseconds, we'll call it. So all we really got to do is come down here to our side. Um, we can click right here. It'll automatically jump forward. I'm impatient, so I'll do that. So what you see in the upper left is it kind of doubled what our frequent, our uh, delay was. So we'll actually we probably put it on the wrong channel, so we can go back, go to zero, and try the other side. We didn't let it settle enough, but we'll back it down to, we had about 0.94 milliseconds. Reset, that graph's looking pretty good. We'll just tab over one by one to about one millisecond. And you watch the end of our graph slowly fill to a perfect signal. So now we've combined two signals together and defeated time delay. Well, Chris, you've taken us on a fantastical voyage through MSC, but I can't let you leave if we're not at least touching on the hardware selection because Audio Tech Fisher has such a deep, you know, catalog of products when it comes to DSP. Ben, you're not kidding on that side. The line is extensive. We offer everything from standalone DSP models, amplified DSP models that range anywhere from five channels all the way up to 12 channels of amplification. There is a solution for every product out there. As I'd mentioned, even things like standalone DSP, four models in this lineup that range from four to eight inputs and six to 12 outputs. Tons of versatility on these guys. Top of the line feature set that we've already gone through. Every single one of these DSP products in the entire lineup experiences everything that we've talked about today. That's one of the cool things about the AudioTech Fisher lineup. PC Tool 5 works on all current DSP products and gives the exact same experience and the exact same workflow across the board. It doesn't matter if you're doing something like a DSP Ultra, a Helix V12, or a small match M5.4 DSP. That versatility is available to you at all times. So when it comes to designing and engineering systems, you've got those av options available to you. Everything from match, Helix, and Brax is going to give you what you need to deliver great sounding cars day in and day out. I want to take this opportunity and give a quick shout out to the whole team at MSC for putting in this great uh, session together. They walked us through their entire facility. Nick came on and of course, Chris. Um, and again, let's take this opportunity. If you're looking for more information about Audio Tech Fisher products, we're going to go ahead and put the link on the screen so you can find out more info and details. More importantly, though, in my opinion, get a hold of MSC. MSC America, whether you're in stateside or Canada, get a hold of MSC. They will answer your questions and get you set up as a dealer. Now, in my closing comments, I have a lot to say on this one because this has been a presentation that has 
absolutely demonstrated something that I personally feel is extremely important for anything in our industry that has to do with high technology. DSP is a scary letter uh, or an acronym for many of our installers out there and business owners. But it shouldn't be. Because we're living in 2023, vehicles are not getting easier to integrate into. What I've seen presented in front of us today is a suite of several different things. And I'll break it down into three categories. Number one, the, the product selection at different price points for different applications. Chris said it at the end. You have Match. You have Audio Tech Fisher, and for those high-end audio file enthusiasts, they have bracks that can deliver from that quality standpoint. The second category is support. We're talking about an elevated level of support, not only on the training side, but only when also when it comes to your um, your salespeople, the display boards that are going to be in your showrooms. I mean, you saw right there. Not only do they design and engineer the board, they help you install it. I mean, that for me is pretty next level stuff. And the final point that is absolutely undeniable is the training. Training is everything when it comes to high technology. And with the amount of information and knowledge that you need to succeed with DSP, I feel that MSC is absolutely delivering above and beyond when it comes to the facility, the fact that there is hands-on classroom training as well as in-vehicle training, and all this is available to all dealers. I got to give it to them. MSE, great job on supporting dealers and getting the knowledge out there so that our technicians, installers, fabricators can perform at a certain level and deliver that quality sound that we all love. And nothing is better than being able to do it consistently, delivering that product and that service to the customers and being profitable. That's it for this CMA Connected brought to you by SiriusXM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. Until next time, we connect. There's never been a better time to have Sirius XM with over 150 channels in your vehicle. Your Platinum Plan offer includes more than ever before to enjoy online, on your phone, or at home. Create your own ad-free personalized stations powered by Pandora. Hear ad-free extra channels and enjoy favorite shows with Sirius XM video on demand. What you love is on now.